Good morning children. Today we are going to discuss the next theme expressed in the poem Dover Beat by Matthew Arnold. But before starting with my theme, I would first like to advise you to read the poem again and again and learn the text to quote it later in your answers for better scores. The main objective of this video is to help you understand the theme Love as the last solace expressed by the poet Matthew Arnold in his poem Dover Beach. So now open your workbook Reverie at page number 130. Before beginning with the theme, I would first discuss the difficult words and the meanings that you will come across while reading. Find these words and write down their meaning so that when we are reading the theme, you are able to understand it in a better way. Now, note down these meanings. Devoid means free from. Solace means comfort. Chaotic means in disorder. Certitude means freedom from doubt. Rush means move with haste or move fast. Pursuing means Chasing. Firing means shooting. Four. Enemy. Ignorant means lacking awareness. Instincts means innate behavior of a person. Commercialism means emphasize on the maximizing of profit. Restore means to bring back. Radical means far reaching. Lethal means Deadly or harmful. Now let us read the theme Love as the Last Solace. In a world devoid of faith, Arnold has depicted the comforting power of love. Dover Beat on one level can certainly be called a love poem. The only solace the speaker finds in a dark chaotic world where there is neither certitude nor peace nor help for pain is love. The world, which is apparently beautiful, is in fact not so. The world can offer none of the promises it makes. Joy, love, light, certitude, peace, help for pain. This means that according to the poet, the only thing that would help the poet and his beloved is their love for each other. The world is really like a battlefield at night. Their soldiers rush, pursuing and firing at shadows, unable to tell friend from foe. It is a dark plain, where ignorant armies clash by night. Arnold firmly believed that Christianity was dead, and his instincts told him that humankind desires for something to believe in something, which can give force and meaning to life. The modern world, with its science and commercialism, cannot provide what human beings desire. Anil does believe only love and compassion can somehow restore man's faith in religion and in the goodness of the world. Thus it is in the last stanza that the speaker turns to his love and says that they should be true to each other because there is nothing else possible to give meaning to life. This means that in the darkness of the world, the only thing that the poet found he could turn to for comfort was love from his beloved. Love, let us be true to one another, for the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, so various, so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light. This is a romantic love at its most radical. Without love between a man and a woman, the world is as confusing, as lethal as a night battle. Now, your homework for today is to solve question number 1b given on page number 140 of your workbook, Reverie. Thank you.